Hi everyone and welcome! Today we're going to expand on the last two videos about how to build a body and an outfit in Body Slide. If you are new, please watch those videos first since I won't be repeating the information here. Links are in the description. In those previous videos we made the body and an outfit one at a time. But this would be super tedious if we have a lot of things to make. And that's what batch building is for. It lets us make multiple outfits or outfit sets all at the same time. I'm going to show you how to do it for CBBE, but it's the same principle for all body slide compatible bodies. First off, remember that the naked body in Skyrim gets replaced by whatever body comes in the outfit when you wear it. This is non-negotiable, it's just how the game works. So if you want the shape of your outfits to match the shape of your naked body, then you have to build them all to the same preset. I highly recommend that you first build just the naked body and then just one single outfit as a test run. Make sure everything is working correctly, make sure that the shape is actually changing in your game, and make sure that you like the shape that you've chosen. Work out any issues right up front before you start making everything else. Once you've done that, you are ready for some batch building. So let's get on with it. I like to choose my preset first, so go ahead and do that in the second drop down list. Double check in the preview window that you've got the right one, and please don't forget to slide it between 0 and 100% to make sure you know what the body is going to look like across the range of body weights in Skyrim. This is not relevant for Fallout since there is only one body size. For now, it doesn't matter what you have selected in the top drop down box for the outfit. Technically, you don't need to select anything in that box for batch building, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. Lastly, make sure to go ahead and tick the box for Build Morphs down here if you want the outfits to use your race menu morphs in the game. Now we build. To batch build, you can, in theory, just click on the batch build button here in Body Slide and select everything that comes up on the list. But please don't do that. Trust me here, you're going to want to filter this list first. Filtering is done up here in the right hand corner using both the filter groups and filter outfits boxes. The group filter is especially useful for batch building. Click the little magnifying glass in that box and select Choose Groups. Mod authors can assign their outfits to groups when they make them, which you can then select in this box to see just those outfits. If you select a broad category like CBBE, you will get all the outfits that are made for this CBBE body assuming the mod author has assigned their outfits properly. Here you can see that this can be a very long list if you have a lot of outfit mods installed. I would not advise using a broad category like this to batch build. Instead, I suggest you narrow it down a bit more. You can choose more than one group in the list. For example, I can choose CBBE and CBBE Vanilla Outfits. But please note that this is an OR function, not an AND function. That means it will list all the outfits that have been assigned to either CBBE or CBBE Vanilla outfits. So it's not really useful for narrowing down this list. It is useful if you want to build multiple outfits from different mods at the same time. You would just tick the boxes for each of those and they will all show up in the list. Let's say we just want to make the Skyrim Vanilla outfits match our CBBE preset. In that case, just tick one box here for CBBE Vanilla outfits. And then, as I like to do, hold Control and click on Batch Build. You'll get a list of all the things from the CBBE Vanilla outfits group. And note that Vanilla here includes the original Skyrim plus all the DLCs, but not the Creation Club content. If you wanted only original Skyrim, the true vanilla, 
you could filter this list further by typing vanilla in the outfit filter box up here. Since all of the CBBE vanilla outfits include that word in their body slide name. I actually want to build the DLC content too, so I'll hit the little X up here to clear the filter. And now you can see those outfits are back on the list. From here, I just click on build and it will either build them to your default location if you didn't hold down any keys, or if you held down control before hitting batch build, which is what I recommend, then you'll get another window where you can choose where to put them. I use MO2, so I have a body slide output folder in my mods list. I've covered this in several previous videos, so I won't belabor it here. You can make as many different output folders as you want, pick whichever one you want from this window, and the NIFs will be built to that location. I will select my general body slide output folder for this example, and then hit select folder at the bottom of the pop-up. Body slide will do its thing, and then you can see how I have a meshes folder now in the body slide output folder. When body slide is done, click OK. And you can, if you want, Navigate to your output folder and check to make sure that things are there. And that's all there is to it. Make sure the output folder is activated in your mod manager and be sure it is loaded last after anything else that touches those outfits. Then go into the game and make sure things look like you expected. If they do not, then first check your character's weight in race menu. You may need to adjust it there so that it looks like the weight setting you were previewing in Body Slide. Speaking of previewing, I mentioned that you can ignore the top dropdown for outfit slash body when you are batch building. This is true, but you might want to just pick an example outfit or two to check before you hit batch build. This list is tied to the group filter as well so you can easily pick something from the same list that you're about to build. I don't want to go into a lot of troubleshooting here because you should have already tested the process when you build the naked body and a single example outfit. So if you're having trouble, please have a look at the previous videos in this series. All right, hopefully your stuff looks great. And now that means we have made the original Skyrim and DLC outfits with one click of a button. But what about the Creation Club content? Whether you have the free content that came with AE or additional paid content, you can find many of these outfits for CBBE as an optional download on the CBBE mod page. Install and activate that mod, and then you should see them available in Body Slide. They have their own group. So again, I will click the magnifying glass up here and select Choose Groups. Generally, I'd suggest picking the main group, and if there is a matching first-person group, go ahead and pick that too. Then click OK. I'm going to follow my own advice and have a quick look at one of the outfits here in the preview window. I don't have all of the CC content, so some of these are not going to show up properly for me, and that's fine. And I'll note here that it's also fine to just go ahead and build all these anyway, even if you don't have the CC content. The extra NIFs that get created are just going to sit there and do nothing, so there's no harm done. Okay, this outfit looks good, so let's hold control and hit batch build. This time I'm going to make a new folder just for the Creation Club outfits. Navigate to where your mods are stored, click on New Folder, Give it a name and hit enter. Then click select folder and body slide will go to work. You can see here that it built the NIFs to that new folder. Now let me highlight one very important point here. If you make a new folder during the batch building process, it will not automatically be activated in your mod manager. This means you will not see the changed outfit in your game. So be sure to refresh MO2 or redeploy Vortex and make sure the new mod folder is activated. And that should fix you right up. All right, so we've built all the vanilla, the DLC, and the Creation Club outfits. But what about an outfit mod? Let's batch build the ZZJ outfits that we used in our last video. 
We can use the outfit filter if we want, since all of these outfits have ZZJ in their body slide name. But it also has a group, so let's use that instead. Click up here, choose groups, and scroll down to find ZZJ's wardrobe. It is filtered to just those outfits, as you can see here in the outfit slash body dropdown, and also in the list when you hit batch build. But let's say I don't want everything from this mod, I just want the plate armor. I can then use a combination of the group and outfit filters, like we did earlier. With the group set to ZZJ's wardrobe, I can then type plate in the other box, and now you can see that only the ZZJ plate armors from that mod are going to be batch built. I actually want to build everything, so I'm going to click the gray X to clear that outfit filter. Then I choose one outfit to check in the preview window. That all looks good, so I'm going to hold control and hit batch build just like we've done before. I'm going to put this into my general body slide output folder, so I select that and then hit select folder. And you can see that it has added to that folder and built the NIFs right in here alongside everything else. So we go into the game and things are looking good. As you can see, this group filter is really helpful. But what if you don't have a group for a particular outfit mod? This means it was not set up by the mod author, and those outfits will instead be located in the unassigned category at the very bottom. The problem with the unassigned category is that it often has a lot of stuff in it, so it's not really a helpful filter. If you are lucky, the mod author will at least have used a common word in the name of the outfit pieces. Such as in this example, all of these contain the word simply, except you can see there's one example up here. This is why it's very good to have a group instead. One of these was instead called simple instead of simply. And so if I use the outfit filter and use the word simply to filter the outfits, then I'm going to be missing this pair of pants. In my case, I actually noticed that this was the case. So I can just use part of the word S-I-M-P-L and leave off the last letter and that will make sure that I get all of these items in my list. The point here is that the outfit filter box may or may not be a good option when your outfit does not have its own group. And with this, I would say I strongly encourage anyone who makes a body slide mod to please set up the appropriate groups for your outfits. It's easy to do here with the group manager, and you can watch video number six in this series for a walkthrough. Even as a mod user, you can set up your own groups for outfits, which is probably a good idea if you're going to be building more than just once. When you are stuck using the unassigned group filter because a mod does not have its own group, then you'll have to manually pick just the parts you want. To do this quickly and easily, first right click and select none. Then. Hold down Shift or Control and highlight all of the parts of the outfits that you want. And finally, hit the space bar. This will tick all the boxes for the highlighted items. Now you just do the rest of the process exactly the same as we've already done. For some outfits, like this one, you may get an extra pop-up that looks something like this. The reason for this is that these pieces have more than one option that you can build but you can only build one of them because they share the same file names. So go through the list and tick your choices, then hit OK, and BodySlide will create all of the items that you specified in both the first batch build window and the choices that you've made in the last window. All right, so we are almost done, but let me give you a few last tips. One thing to note for batch building is that optional zap sliders don't always work correctly when you make a bunch of stuff at once. For example, this vanilla tavern outfit has zap sliders, these tick boxes here, that you can use to remove the necklace, the armbands, or both. 
What I suggest in these cases is to just batch build everything without worrying about the zap sliders. Then you can come back and just rebuild the specific outfits that you want to use zaps on. Here you can see that using the outfit filter, I can choose just the wench or tavern outfit, tick the zap boxes that I want, and build or batch build only that item. The newly built version will overwrite the previous version as long as you save it to the same location. You can see how that has happened here by comparing the timestamps. Another tip for those of you who use CBBE. By default, the outfits will have rim lighting. If you don't want rim lighting, you can download this optional file on the mod page and let that overwrite the main CBBE mod. Then, when you build, you will get the no rim lighting outfits. If you use a body other than CBBE, the process is exactly the same, but you may have some different choices to make. I'll be covering 3BA, BHUNP, and Himbo each in a separate video, so you can check those out if you are interested. Thanks for joining me to learn about batch building and body slide. Have fun making whatever gorgeous shapes that you enjoy, and happy outfitting!